Bill and Wen. Oh, hey. Yeah, you're so fucking stupid. Hey. 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 I think they, they listen to us bitch about it enough on they, the show. They probably watched our episode. Welcome to Stupid Movies, episode 130. Where we watch them so you don't have to. And this week we watch Puppet Master, The Littlest Reich. You should watch it. Yes, you should. Yes, you should. End of show. <laughs> 2018. Not rated. 90 minutes long. Yep. Directed by Sonny Laguna. Laguna. Directed <laughs> by Sonny Laguna and Tommy Wickland. Yep. Starring Thomas Lennon. Michael Paré. Udo Kier, Barbara Crampton, Nelson Franklin. And that blonde chick, I still don't know what her name was. I don't either, yeah, who was she? <laughs> so we found out that when Rob has magic fingers and can make boobies appear. Yeah, I went, boo, and they appeared. If your boobies just appeared, send a picture to stupidmovies at boobymail.com. <laughs> this was uh, distributed and released by RLJE Films. Yeah, this which, not Full Moon. No. And that's okay with me, <laughs> you know? So, uh, what was this about? I, I, you described it pretty good okay. when we were talking about it, so. So, recently divorced Thomas Lennon. I had to move back in with his parents to, uh, you know, try to get his life back together. He works at a comic book shop, and he's also a comic book artist. And it's about him learning to love again. Yeah. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. It's a drama. Uh, and also, there's Nazi puppets killing people. <laughs> so what do we like? I like the cast and the characters. Yeah. The uh, acting was very good. They were phenomenal. Yeah. It was like they had real actors. <laughs> this is true. I mean, you got Barbara Crampton, who's a scream queen. Well, right. I mean, you know, Thomas Barbara Lennon. Barbara Crampton, yeah. yeah. Uh, do you ever think she gets cramps a ton? Get out. Get off of my show. That's my inner Jake. You're fired. And, and Udo Kier. I mean, he's... But he was good in this. Yeah. He was in a lot of it. Right. Yeah, just the beginning. And then Nelson Franklin played Markowitz, which I think was our favorite character. Yeah. He was yeah. my favorite character. He was definitely my favorite character. Yeah, so I like that. The, the acting was very good. Characters were likable. That don't happen in horror yeah. movies. I liked, I liked everyone in this. Me too. Yeah. I was bummed when uh, some of these characters died. Yeah, we don't want to give anything away, but no. some of the characters that we... I had pegged as making it to the end, and, and you did too. They were right. people, it's like, this is not cannon fodder, this is a main character, they're going to make it all the way through, and they don't. No. And that was a bummer. <laughs> at, at one of them, at one point when the one died, like, we both stopped and looked at each other and were like, what? No. No, no that's not, no, no, that's not, okay, where's the fake out? And there's no fake out. No. It was like, they're dead. Yep. Um, I liked the story a lot. Yeah. It was simple, and it was effective. Yeah, they wasted no time getting to the yeah. point. They explained what you needed to know. And none of this malarkey of... Nope. A lot of booze. Yeah, there's a lot of booze. <laughs> I got nothing else to say about that. No, it, it was perfect. perfect. Yeah. It wasn't dark or scary per se, but it was... Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The effects. <laughs> the special effects. The uh, special? Uh, the special. <laughs> <laughs> they were good. That was, mm, They were great. They were great. They were and I think most of it was practical. I'm pretty sure. If it was I, CG, holy crap, yeah. that was really good CG because it looked like they had puppets on the set with them. Yeah. Spoiler, there's puppets. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> the gore in this was awesome. There was a crap ton, and it looked awesome. Yeah, there was some good, 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 yeah. good, good stuff. Yeah. Uh, and there's a ton of kills. I mean, the body count was massive. Yeah. It went way up that way. Yeah, we should have counted. We, <laughs> there's probably seven. I like the bathroom scene with the guy peeing. That was awesome. really good. There was one scene where a puppet crawls up into a pregnant woman. It was a very cool scene, but the ending of that was kind of... Might have gone a little too far. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I like the pacing of this movie. It, it was really, it, at no point was I bored no. or, like, is it checking my watch or anything. The right. whole time, I was just like, holy shit, what's going to happen next? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it started, got to the point. As a movie and does, it starts. <laughs> right. It just went, and then went way over that way. Oh. And, I mean, the, I don't know what that was. <laughs> this movie was 90 minutes long, but oddly enough, and I think we agreed on this, 
It could have been longer, and yeah. I would have been fine with it. And I never say that. They could have made a two-hour movie out of this yeah. if they had kept that pacing the way they were going. It right. was just so good. I like the humor to this movie. Yeah. It was funny, right? but at no point was it... This was not a horror comedy. No. This was a horror movie yeah. that just happened to have some funny parts in it. Bad segue. I like the puppets. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There were some pretty cool new puppets in yeah. this along with originals. Yeah, there were quite a few new puppets. I like the flying one. That was cool. Oh, the helicopter, the helicopter robot one, thing, yeah. whatever that was. That was pretty sweet, and they looked good. I mean, They looked really good. There was boobs! You know, when we were writing the review for this, we spent like 15 minutes talking about what we liked, and then all of a sudden Rob was like, did you forget that there were boobs in this movie? <laughs> yeah. I did. They were great. We <laughs> looked like they were stuffed with Crampton. <laughs> oh. This is definitely the best out of any yes. Puppet Master movie. That's a lot Absolutely. of Absolutely. It. And it's not a full it movie. It wasn't a full movie. movie, which I think made all the difference yeah. in the world. It was so well done. Not very well executed. I really <laughs> hope they do another one. Yeah. I, well, I do. With, with the cast that survives. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> which isn't much. Speaking of that, the ending to this movie was really, really good. I like the end. I didn't expect it at it all. Was, it was abrupt. It, it was just, abrupt. It just, something happens, and then boom, it switches to something else, and then to be continued. Yeah. Uh, Speaking uh, of, let's get into dislikes. I hated the ending <laughs> to this movie. <laughs> I cannot remember the last time a to be continued pissed me off this much. It was Back to the Future 2. I remember. Seeing Back to the Future 2 in theaters. So that was, what, 91, 92? It's been Something a long like that, time yeah. now. And when that To Be Continued came up, it pissed me off. And spoiler alert, this movie ends with the To Be Continued. Uh, I wish they'd just given this movie another half an hour. Yeah. And done more. Right. It could, Yeah, it, it would have been good. How many times do we say a movie could have been longer? Never. This is a first for me. Because I hate movies that are longer than an hour. I'm not going to say I hate movies. Cause there are some good ones. But generally, a horror movie doesn't need to go beyond 90 minutes. 80 to 90 minutes yeah. is perfect. But this one could have used another half hour. If they would have kept the pacing, mm -hmm. then it would have been awesome. Some of the uh, original puppets I don't think were in this. I can't think of any off the top of my head. Particularly... What he said. They killed some favorite characters. Which is a like and a dislike. Yeah, that was kind of a hard one. There were a couple characters that they killed that I was really bummed about. I know. I wanted to cry, and I usually don't. Yeah. I, the lighting. Yeah, that was probably my least favorite thing. Is some of the lighting in this was pretty dark. And we've got the ideal setup when we watch movies down here. The only way you could have better is if you were in a theater, which this wasn't in theaters. Right. Are you saying my man cave's awesome? I rule. No, your horror cave Thank you. is awesome. Yes. Your man Good. cave... Smells like poop. But this was the best Puppet Master movie. Hands down. Yeah. Hands down. And I really hope that they do a sequel. That would be horse crap! Anyway, I loved it. I knew I'd probably like it because I've heard great stuff and my expectations right. were high, but they were low. But I enjoyed it a lot and a lot more than I thought it would. It was awesome. It had a lot of gore. It had some boobs. Yeah. <laughs> Eight out of eight! <laughs> I'm going to give this movie because it has everything I want in a horror movie. Yeah. It, it does. I Everything. So I went into this, I heard a lot of good things about it. And so my expectations were very low. Because generally when people are like, oh, you got to watch this, this is such a great movie. Oh, you gotta, you're going to love this. And it's not. They're not that good. Um, so I went into it with low expectations. Right. And was even more impressed than I would have been had I believed what everyone said. Right. Um, so I'm going to fucking give it a 9 out of 8. Damn. I'm going above the scale. He's going above it. Yeah, and it would have got higher than that had it not been for the to be continued ending. I mean, <laughs> right. it would have got a 10. This would have been a perfect 10 had it not been for that ending. Every part, I loved every frame of this movie. Yeah. yeah. To the point that I want to print them out frame by frame and use them to wallpaper. Yeah, that'd be sweet. And I can just walk through and look at all the frames and, you know, occasionally do inappropriate things with them. Uh, so definitely go check this out if you have not. Yeah. I don't know. You need to watch it right now. 
Right. Literally stop watching this video, go watch it, and come back and watch the rest of our review. Yeah, exactly. It's a great movie. Never thought I'd say that for Puppet Master. Movie. Yeah. But definitely go watch it. Yeah, that's like my only dislike, is this movie made me want to go watch the other Puppet Master movies, and I know I'm going to be disappointed now. Because right. I've, I've seen some of them, and I know how they yeah. are. Yeah. yeah, they're not great. No. Ah! Ah! You can find Welcome us. Welcome to Stupid Movie. Welcome to episode 130. <laughs> You can go to facebook.com slash stupid movies to or, be our friend. That's right. Mm -hmm. Like our or whatever. Or at Instagram at stupid movies, at the horror punk, at Dr. Sketch Turner. Is that mine? I think so. Oh shit. I yeah. should log into that. <laughs> and you can go to YouTube, which you're on already. So You can go to where you are right now to see us, which you're seeing right now. Yeah. I don't know if that's good or bad for you. I feel bad for them. I do too. Next week, we start a month-long Halloween Woo! movie marathon. Halloween. Bam. We got some awesome ones up. So check back. We don't have anything awesome up yet. Well, not up. I mean, up in the in the, uh, in the the lineup. In the cloud? In, in the mine. In the, in the cloud. Damn it. <laughs> I, uh, my eyeball has something in it. It's your finger. 